Welcome to DC Direct. I'm Lionel Donovan. Here in this show, we try to break down some of the bigger stories here in the US, but we want to hear from you. So follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube at TRT World. And use the hashtag DC Direct to let us know what you think and be a part of our conversation. In today's show, we're talking about child labor in the US. The idea of children in harsh working conditions may seem like a thing of the past, but child labor still exists in the U.S. Araceli is all too familiar with this phenomenon, and it's been something that she has experienced for nearly her entire life. You are a former child laborer yourself, correct? Yes, I've been doing a lot of child labor. How old were you when you first started? I, I first started as a maybe a baby, my mom would just take me out to the fields, put me in her back, and she would just be working. And at 14, I started picking blueberries, onions, grapes. The image that Araceli describes of children and minors in the workforce in the U.S. is quite different than what many Americans would imagine. But Reed Maki says the image is all too real. When we think of kids working in the United States, it's usually the idea of a teenager working at uh, the fast food place in order to buy, get enough money to buy a phone or anything. Um, is that the case when it comes to child labor in the U.S.? Do we have that picture right? That type of work really isn't considered child labor. Um, child labor is work, is, is work that damages the development of a child, and that usually means that they're working at too young of an age or that, they're, um, that their health is impacted. Um, they're working too many hours. Um, it's, it's an exploitative situation. Some of it is allowed by U.S. law because U.S. law is so weak, particularly in agriculture. We allow children as young as 12 to work unlimited hours in the fields. According to the U.S. Department of Labor, agriculture ranked as the most hazardous industry in 2017 and 2018. Yet there are around half a million children in the U.S. working on farms. Many are as young as eight years old and work days of more than 10 hours are not uncommon. So are your younger siblings still in the fields as well? My five-year-old brother, he's in the Head Start program. Okay. So he luckily has that opportunity not to be in the fields like I was. Mm -hmm. However, my other siblings, they're, they're at that age where they're able to work. When you say what age they're able to work, what age would that be exactly? Well, you can be a five-year-old picking blueberries you could just pick one at a time and you'll fill up your bucket, not as quickly as an adult, but you'll fill it up and that'll be enough to maybe give you $4. Agriculture is super dangerous. Kids are getting hurt all the time. Uh, the, the, the Government Accountability Office did a report last year and it found that agriculture was really the most dangerous area that children are working in in the U.S. That same report suggests that 100,000 child farm workers are injured on the job every year, and that children account for 20% of farming fatalities. I actually got into an accident. I fell off a tractor, and I have a lot of um, scars on my stomach. I also sliced my finger when I was doing the onion crop. There's a lot of um, going to the hospital for just pain or um, heat strokes, yeah. When stuff like that happens, do you ever, did you all ever get time off or was there any sort of um, medical care at all or did, was it, how did that work? There's no time off. You just suck it up and go the next day and try just as hard. How close the White House is? Reed suggests that the reasoning behind the exception for agriculture in regards yeah, you know, to child labor yeah, is connected to an insidious labor. history in the U.S. The exception that allows children to work in agriculture at such early ages goes all the way back to the 1930s when the Fair Labor Standards Act was passed and, and, and Congress decided to protect all children except for kids in agriculture. They left ag out of the Fair Labor Standards Act because they, there were a lot of, um, a lot of uh, at the time, Democratic um, senators that were from southern states and a lot of the children working in fields were, were young black kids. And there wasn't a lot of concern, unfortunately. Um, you know, there really is a, there's a big racism component to this whole story. 
So why has that not been fixed and o over all of these decades? Mm -hmm. And uh, I think the answer is maybe the racism component. Uh, um, you know, the fact that these are kid these kids are from often from immigrant families, and there hasn't been a commitment in Congress to to fix the problem. Political action to address this has been slow as well, due to the lack of visibility surrounding child labor. The issue isn't super well known. I think that um, the population, because it is um, from, they're mostly immigrant families, farm lobby is super strong in the U.S. And that's, I think, been a hindrance to, um, there have been efforts to protect these kids over the years. And in some cases, the farm lobby has stepped up and said, no, we don't want any regulation. Despite the obstacles, Araceli hopes that her work in D.C. will help get other children out of the fields and on the path to a better life. We really want to get children out of the fields because they should not be there. Just as you see a child not working in an office or not working in the restaurant, they should not be doing that field work to put food in other people's homes and they don't even realize that children pick those, uh, that tomato, that grape, that, that's what I want to do. I want all child labor to stop. It should have stopped yesterday, but we're still doing it today. We're doing it right now, and it should just stop. Well, that's our time here at DC Direct for today. But please follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube at TRT World. And use the hashtag DC Direct to let us know what you think should be done to address the issues of child labor in the U.S. Until next time, I'm Lionel Donovan. Thank you.